thank you all for showing up. Uh, this, this is uh, something that I've been working on uh, well over three years. Uh, I've been a vendor for conventions for over 21 years. And at some point, oh, I, 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 I'm RJ, or hey you, or the guy in charge. Hello, RJ. <laughs> you do not want to hear me say it. All right. Um, like I said, my name is R.J. Van Wagner. This is Deb. And at registration, we have my awesome, beautiful wife, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> and she is doing an amazing job. Uh, we have a lot of staff working around with us. We have a lot of great volunteers working with us week, weekend. Uh, again, I started, I, I've been a vendor for 21 years. I started off selling magic cards. Learned a great crowd to be making customized vampire things and has basically taken over my life over the past 20 years. Um, I travel all over from Florida to Chicago, uh, mostly the Northeast, and after years and years and hundreds of conventions and looking at them and going, God, could they not get that fixed last year? <laughs> I've had enough people say, put up or shut up. And here we are. Uh, I, I, we will all be putting up and shouting up this weekend. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I have been working on this uh, for over three years, um, from trying to find the right design, which is probably um, become a little bit easier. In fact, than all the other convention hotels in the area are gone. Um, so this is the best place that you can have. It's also the only place you can have in Western Mass, unless you want to go to the Mass Mutual Center. The hotel has bent over backwards to help us out. Um, every step of the way, they have been my partner as much as anybody else has. Um, when you have to go by the doors, the lobby, the people behind that have been working their tail off, and the people in the back office have been working their tail off for this for months and months and months. Um, as well as all of us. Uh, our head of security is Kelsey. Just, just wait. If you don't say anything, just wait. Hi, Kelsey. She's petite and tiny, but don't piss her off. <laughs> yeah. That's not a statement. Yeah. Um, real quick note on security. We have a little model here to demonstrate what our security shirts look like. So if you guys need something to do with security, look for one of these shirts. <laughs> Say staff, how should we show up? Staff It says staff on the back, and it's a black shirt with the same picture as the, as the red shirts. Those are the ones, if you have an issue, you come and speak to. Our black shirts, the same group squad on them, are the Your red shirts. Oh, the black ones. Stop Is confusing it? me. No. <laughs> Um, the black shirts that say Brute Squad are the ones that are for sale, $10 at a registration booth. We buy yours early. We always have a limited supply. Embrace um, We have great glow in the dark, inconceivable 2014 bracelets. They're only a dollar and they really do glow in the dark. It really annoys my wife when she wakes up in the middle of the night and this thing is glowing at her. <laughs> and, a, and a quick funny story I took them to a show I did last week, and it was an outside show. And about 12 30 at night, I had to go get something out of our booth. And everything's closed up, all the power's down, and my booth is glowing. <laughs> I, I was assuming that it was either nuclear waste <laughs> or aliens. I wasn't sure which one I was hoping for, because I've always wanted a third arm. But the probes sound entertaining the first time. Um, but it turned out that it was this big bucket of these glow in the dark bracelets, and they literally lit up like a 10 by 10 booth. <laughs> you keep that third arm over there. <laughs> but anyways, they, they work. They work really, really well. Uh, and they're on sale registration booth as well for a dollar. And all that money is going to help make this happen again next year. That's the goal. We have a couple other things that we're selling and doing. We are doing an auction um, that will be set up for tomorrow. We may have set up later tonight, but we'll definitely have it for tomorrow. And there'll be items from our guests, from our dealers, um, from personal stock and things like that. Why are we having an auction? Well, I'm just going to that. Stop. Um, 
one of our one of our one of my friends and fellow traveler, C.J. Henderson, passed away at the beginning of July from cancer. Uh, he was one of the very first people that agreed to be part of the show. He was willing to give me the chance, um, as as a vendor and a guest, to come and sell his wares. He works with the H.P. Lovecraft Society in Rhode Island, and he's an amazing author. You can still buy his books online uh, for as long as they're going to be online for, and he is well worth the read. Um, what we are doing for the auction will be 50% of everything raised at the auction will be given to his widow to help defer costs for his medical bills. Uh, they were extensive. He was sick for a very long time, and he was going through massive amounts of chemotherapy every day. Um, he literally fought to the last minute. He was doing conventions up to two weeks before he passed away. He would go home, do four or five days of straight chemo, get out Friday, go to a convention, come home, go back and do chemo for another week. I have to take two days off for a hangnail. This man was amazing, is amazing. And we have, we're going to have stuff out there, like I said, from our dealers downstairs, <clears throat> for my personal stock. And one of the things we're going to have that my wife made, and you can see a registration, is a CG, a CJ Cthulhu doll. And she has, she is holding it up at the moment. Aww. Well, Kelsey will be bringing it up. Kelsey will be walking that around for everybody. Anyways, the auction, like I said, is going to be to help out his family. Um, he is, he is a memorial part of this show, and as far as I'm concerned, for as long as this show's going on, he will be part of it. Um, I, I, like I said, I've traveled the world for years with him. He's a great guy. Um, we have a great dealer room downstairs, which I've seen many of you in, so you already know what's going on down there. That's going to be open until 9 o'clock tonight. Yes. No, I think it's open until 10. No, I'm really not there. Ah. All right, yeah, dealer was open until 10 o'clock tonight. And then back in here, starting at 9. Yes. At some point, we are going to be having an 18 and older event. So those people who are under 18. I have the whole schedule. Hi. Hi. I made the schedule. If anyone has a complaint, too bad. <laughs> um. She's already told us that many times. Yeah. Um, anyway, we will have a cash bar open at 9 p.m. That wall behind you will come down and there is a cash bar. We will have uh, an 18 plus comedy show, Beyond the Tentacle. Let your imaginations wander because wherever you wander is probably right. Um, an 18 plus comedy show, there will be belly dancing at some point. I think belly dancing actually comes first. And there's also gonna be a burlesque show, so we're gonna have stuff going on in here all night until about 1 a.m. when they close the bar. Um, we will have a whole bunch of late night events going on tomorrow. There's tournaments, all, the Magic the Gathering tournament is out in the tent all day tomorrow. We have a costume contest, we will have comedy shows, and we will have a black light dance. That's also gonna be out in the tent. So, you know, the weather is gonna be beautiful tomorrow night. <laughs> there's gonna be a cash bar again. That'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all weekend. And late night movie screenings, all sorts of good stuff. We have some really exciting guests. We have a couple Star Trek cast members coming. No, they're here. Are they here already? They're here. They're here. Well, they were here and they're then here. they went away. And then they came back. They came back. Kind of like Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> So there's a whole bunch of awesome activities going on. Um, schedules will be posted as the days progress. So today I have this Friday schedule available at registration. We will be hanging copies of the schedules around all over the hotel. So if you don't have them in hand, it's okay. They'll be there. They'll be on the walls. They'll be accessible. Um, if anyone has any questions about scheduling, you can look for me. Blame her. I mean, find her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really too late, so if you get the lead of change next year. Uh, What's going on Sunday? There's going to be a tea party on Sunday? Uh, yeah. cool. uh, no, it didn't. The concert's after. God. Jesus. Do you really me? I don't think I'm allowed. Do you really? I didn't say that. The 18-year-old stuff, huh? I'm not allowed. There's also going to be a concert with this awesome band called Anaria. They are down in the vendor's room. They have a the table. They're um, awesome. We will. They are awesome. We are going to be doing our closing ceremonies around their concert and the tent on Sunday. So close out the con, rock out, it'll be a good time. 
Uh, we have a costume contest going on. We are going to have a haul contest, so people will be getting random prizes all over the place. Um, they also have kind of haul awards. Please stand up. Uh -huh, already. Dun, dun, dun. We will also be having an actual costume contest in here, which will involve a variety of prizes for a variety of categories, and the big winner will get money. <laughs> oh, yeah, cash oh, prizes. Cash. Five cents. <laughs> Five yes. Sign me up. <laughs> Sadly, it's still more than some places give you. <laughs> we appreciate your hard work. Here's a quart. <laughs> if you and you can, if you know anybody who would be interested in being in the costume contest that is not here, uh, we are still you are still able to register for the costume contest. Yeah, so, we will be definitely. accepting entries um, till pretty, till starts. pretty much till it starts. <laughs> the person yeah. running that isn't here. She's somewhere. She's somewhere. She's somewhere. She's doing she's something. something. No. Uh, well, the way. Uh, <laughs> you got something to share with the whole class? Um. about our convention before we jump in? Yes? Where are you registering the costume contest? Where? Oh. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Where is the costume contest entry? Just... They will be at registration where you see the trophies over there. They will be up there within the next hour or so. Oh, cool. Yes. Well, that's time to Any other questions? When exactly does the cash bar actually open? <laughs> <laughs> a copy of at the registration. They've got some really good food there. Oh. Um, we have a hot dog and cheeseburger and other food vendor coming in. He should be here that probably Bob? the next hour. Does he have burgers? Uh, he should have yes. Is his name Bob? No. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, um, one of the panel submissions that I reviewed, you have to give your name, a description of your panel, an email address. The email address was his personal account. The name was Bob. <laughs> All it said was food. <laughs> so I'm really hoping that Bob's burger truck will show up. <laughs> he doesn't remember sending it. Cash bar was probably open. <laughs> no, I'm just way sober. When I'm drunk, it's, uh, it's just, uh, I go to sleep. Fair enough. I'm a lousy drunk. So, we have lots of great things going on. Oh, Turtle. Will there be a sign encourage people, encouraging people to rock the cash bar? <laughs> okay, something very important, guys. Um, there is a code of conduct guideline in the program book. There is an actual code of conduct at registration. We expect you to respect the hotel. If the hotel tells you it's a rule, we're not going to argue with them. Please, please, please respect the hotel rules um, and the hotel staff. They've never had a fan-based convention of any kind before. There's never been a steampunk, an anime, and anything, a sci-fi, anything kind of convention here. Um, especially not one that involved dressing up in any capacity, <laughs> but, or dressing down for that matter. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, we are in Northampton, so they probably have some idea of how we do with costumes. <laughs> Getting out there and putting on some strange outfits. So. I love Northampton. I wear a Lolita every day. My wife told me I had to dress like a man today. <laughs>
like to plug their panels, now is a great time to do that. Uh, some of you might know me as Sarah, the anime librarian. Others might know me as Auntie Cosplay. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do a lot of panels here this weekend. Uh, in fact, I got to scoot out of here in about two minutes uh, because I will be doing um, Cloud Age Symphony, anime and steampunk from 6 to 7 tonight. Uh, tomorrow I will be hosting uh, from 11 to noon uh, the Cosplays for Everyone panel. Um, yeah, so be nice to your fellow cosplayers, or Auntie Cosplay will find out and find you. Uh, from set, that includes you, especially you, Deb. I'm an Avengers fan, I know how this works. Um, 6 to 7 tomorrow night I'll be doing uh, Anime 101 for anyone that wants to come, but especially for some of maybe the parents that are like, what the hell is my kid into? Um, Swim the early years, talking about the history of Adult Swim. Um, and then on Sunday from 12.30 to 1.30, I'm going to be doing a visual history of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, including the Michael Bay movie. It should be a very interesting conversation, so please join me for those. And uh, so yeah, I'm really happy to be here. This is an awesome con. I'm so glad these guys asked me to be here. This is a totally amazing group of people, and everyone's been so nice so far. So I'm going to hand the mic over to Charles, who's a way more qualified speaker than I am. Uh, <laughs> just a real quick note, I actually found you through the Wilbraham uh, Library. I was in there really? the sign, and they, they said, you need to have her at <laughs> so you wow. you're, you're like, you need to contact Sarah immediately. Oh. In fact, here's her number, here's her personal number, here's her email. And they always gave me your address to your house. I gave you your license plate well, number. Considering and, what you just said to your wife, you might need it for the sofa. This is true. <laughs> She's used to it after 20 years. You learned that at the Wilbraham Library? Well, yeah, well, I, I perform at Wilbraham a lot. I live in Wilbraham. Wilbraham's awesome. It's a wonderful place. <laughs> it's a great town trying to be low metal. <laughs> Except without the attitude problem. Okay, we'll tell you. No offense to the low metal. I am a lot I know nothing about Massachusetts towns. Our next speaker. So I'm from New York. Hi, Charles. Hi, Hi Charles. Hi. 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 Charles is in charge. Uh, I don't think like <laughs> No, this was me last week at Otakon. <laughs> ah! It's my weekend. And I'm still recovering. My throat. Right, can you hear you? Exactly. <laughs> my throat just got better today. And so I have to remind him to start. over at the college, and like, I have been in this, in this hotel before, and the moment I heard, it's at the Haunted Clarion, yes! So it's gonna make a really interesting weekend. It's haunted. It's haunted? There's a groovy mystery to me? Yes, there's a groovy mystery So, I have a nice and very full schedule this weekend. I'm doing tomorrow from 1.30 to 2.30 a panel on Kill a Kill, State Shit Show, Meiji Japan. Merits? Check out that one. <laughs> video. I sent you the cupcakes video. Oh, yeah. You should be there. That's I just you one like part of the panel. I'm doing, I started this panel on its way to prove a blowhard wrong. Now it's turned into a book chapter. But I digress. I'm also doing tomorrow Eat Brains and Live Zombies and the Politics of Identity. Which I'll be the first to admit I can't get this panel to work right. So I get to keep trying until I do. <laughs> Sunday I'm going to be doing a gathering, at 11am, a gathering of geeks, fandom and convergence theory, which is the brainiest thing I'm doing this weekend, talking about how multi-fandom conventions are awesome and you shouldn't be afraid of them. <laughs> Followed at 12.30 by Sacred Symbols Giant Robots, Symbolism and Symbolic Action in Mecha Shows. Yeah, that sounds so interesting, but no. <laughs> 
you do C Pacific Rim? I'll yeah. talk about it. <laughs> and finally, two to three, Warcraft and the power of narrative, which is just a fancy way of saying I'm looking at mythological tropes in the world of Warcraft, where I spent way too much of my free time for my entire tenure of grad school. So, <laughs> That's going to be my Sunday, and hopefully my Saturday doesn't blow it out, because if it ends up like Otakon, I'm going to be like, there's the coffee, inject it into my veins, scream, 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 pass out. <laughs> Cocaine helps too, I've heard. No. <laughs> you can't steal my help. ideas. No, I don't do that, but I actually get very animated when I speak, which is always a plus. So, if you guys want to have some fun, just come and find me. Also, I just I like talking to people. Yay. In case you haven't noticed, I talk about it. <laughs> Alright guys, so I know we just did this. Just want to clarify. Do you want to come up? Yes. 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 So we're gonna we're gonna do it again. Ready? Ready? Hi Charles! Hi! I do not have a stage voice, so I will use this. <laughs> I'm still working on the stage voice. Give me another day or two. All right, I am the other Charles, but you can also call me CJ or that weird guy who's running around everywhere trying to do everything. Can we just give this guy a huge round of applause because he has done so much in this and panelist. This man is doing everything, and he brought in press people for us. So, thank you. Yeah, our press guy is going to be on the bus at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm just covering for him today. Ah. <laughs> or he's stuck out in Brooklyn. It's going to take Should we get in the bus? Yeah. No, he's just going to hang on and then take photos all along the way. Our there press guy is Spider-Man. Yes! <laughs> Well, at least he gets to sleep on the way, because you just can't sleep on your way to Brooklyn. Sure. You don't sleep on the way. No. Yeah. No. We have to the wrong Let's see. 9 p.m. For today, I think here, in like half an hour or so, there's... There. There. In there. Is the writer's exchange. Yes. For like half an hour, where it seems like it's going to be a free-for-all. If you are a writer and you want to come and talk and talk shop, we shall be there for half an hour. Tomorrow, 3.30, I believe, downstairs in that little panel room, I'm going to be talking about courting your muse and warping the fabric of reality itself so you can find time to write. <laughs> and then my partner in crime at 11, 10.30, in the same panel room is going to be talking about Literonica, the six do's and nine notes of adult romance writing. It's definitely worth it. Read the description, blush, and then go. Yes. <laughs> and then Sunday, we're going to wrap things up in the big room. Yeah. I want to say at two thirty or so. Two or two thirty, somewhere around that time. Yes. It'll be on the schedule. We're going to be in here talking about plot pacing. So if you've already written a story, or if you want to figure out how long should this thing be, or how do I deal with a fight scene, then stop on by for an hour and we will cover everything we can before they kick us out. I have received instructions to toot that. <laughs> um, so we kind of got a little bit of a last minute, um, very lucky last minute opportunity to screen a short film, Star Trek The Battle of the Nassar. So I learned a little bit about this from Kickstarter. Basically what it is, is a bunch of cast members of Star Trek got together and independently made a short film that tells the story of a very, very pivotal moment in Federation history for all you Star Trek geeks. Yeah, goes way back. This predates Captain Kirk. Story, timeline-wise. Old story. So, we actually are lucky enough to be able to screen it here for you guys tomorrow. So there's going to be a Star Trek panel, uh, I want to say 5.30 to 6.30, and then after that, we are actually going to be screening this short film with J.G. Hertzler, who is one of the cast members of Deep Space Nine and an XR, and he worked really hard to secure that for us. So that's kind of a really big deal, kind of really. 
really, really, yeah. Because um, it's kind of new, and I think they're actually going to be releasing it, like, major re release in a year or so. So that's kind of an exclusive thing that you guys can come and check out with J.G. Hertzler of Star Trek tomorrow. And although they're not here, Tony Todd is in that, and uh, Richard Hatch are also um, some of the more high-end names that are in that movie as well. They're not here this week, and just J.G. You'll be able to have a Q&A session with him too about his work in this film, so if you want to badger Star Trek cast member with questions, <laughs> you will have an opportunity. Be back here tomorrow. Actually, if you want to just, you know, give all the little nuances of why didn't this work? Or if this is doing it on here, why is it doing it on there? <laughs> he loves that. <laughs> so Star Trek stuff tomorrow. Very exciting. Um, no, I think I'm good. Just, just a little bit of a reminder. The red shirts that say Root Squad on the back are the people you need to go to if anything is wrong or if you have any questions or you have any concerns. If you see somebody with a staff shirt in a black one that she's wearing, that also is good. Anybody who has a black shirt with a brute squad, they don't know. They, they don't have the an answers. Um, but always registration desk is there. Always, I will be walking around, um, and there will be several of us all walking around all weekend long. So anytime you have a question or concern or comment, by all means, stop us. If you think there's something that we could do do better. Please. Oh, that's a thing for us. We will have a feedback panel at the end of the weekend. Um, I think it's going to be downstairs in the Hampshire room. So there will be a feedback panel. So if you guys are thinking of things that you want us to add, include, expand upon, um, we are here for you. We want everyone here to have a good time, and we are interested in your feedback. So if you notice something during the weekend, feel free to write it on a piece of paper and. Um, I will make sure there's a receptacle at registration for you guys to drop off notes for feedback and we will have a feedback panel at the end of the weekend and we hope to see you all there. Yes. So thank you for being here. Thank you for making his dream come true. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. Uh, go down and spend all your money in the bedroom. <laughs>